Since he arrived with the new wave of comics in the late 90s, Conrad has banished the idea of a ventriloquist's dummy. With a master's degree and the sharpest wit, he's made a career of political satire and created a character with a life of his own. Nico, how's it, man? Hi. Thanks um, for coming through. You're alone? Yes, I'm alone. What? I assume that, that, that Conrad would be here with you. Oh, I see! Oh, the little puppet guy needs his white guy to go around with him. Oh, that's nice. I don't see Genie D following you around wherever you go. That's not what I think. Oh. Touche. Um, well, you've done very well for yourself. How did you get here? Mainly in a suitcase. Boom! Gag. The thing is, it's taken quite a ride. You know, people were unsure what to do with me. I'm a puppet talking politics. What do they do? Normally, puppets are in politics, not talking politics. And that's really what opened it up because I'm a latex thing. So people felt fine being honest, you know, opening up with me. And it's, it's really been amazing. Well, you've already achieved so much as, as a puppet. And congratulations on your last award. Thank you. Yes, the Comics Pen Award. It was a real honor, you know, as the only puppet working against able-bodied comedians. It was for my book, um, Chester Missing's Guide to the Elections. What's it like working with your partner, Conrad? I had a pen shot for gags. He was a struggling ventriloquist and our career kind of worked. I could, I could talk truth to power and he was helping me out as a ventriloquist. Um, it's got difficult because I've really become famous and he's quite frankly sitting on the sidelines. And, and you know, it's, it gets a bit tough having a guy ride on your career, to be honest, to be frank. William Zilla, I called her a rusk. Why'd you call oh. her a rusk? Because she's a tough cookie. Eight years ago, Conrad was performing at the Baxter Theater when he met performer and creative Gia Human. Today they're engaged, and if you ask him what his three favorite things in the world are, he'll tell you gear, gear, and gear. Though there does always need to be room in the relationship for Chester. Conrad, there are many roads that lead to Rome, but you chose ventriloquism as your path into the entertainment industry. How did that come about? Um, well, I joke that both my parents are lawyers, so I had to talk to myself because <laughs> no one else would talk. But actually, I started a place called the College of Magic in Cape Town doing magic shows when I was a little kid. And uh, we built from there, which is a bit weird for gear because, you know, I started talking to puppets and now she lives with a guy who talks to puppets for a living. How did you go about creating Chester? That was a sort of slow development. It came out of, uh, conceptually, out of my master's degree in anthropology, politics in South Africa, but his actual design and the concept of him as a, a sort of postmodern, uh, futuristic looking toy character came out of uh, some of Gear's work as well. Gear's a designer. Yeah, and at the time I was developing my own designer toy and so it kind of just fell in with everything I was doing and he decided instead of taking on the traditional sort of ventriloquist or traditional puppet, let's go with something that looks a bit more along the lines of a designer toy. So I stepped in and helped him. Well, Chester would say that you're living in his shadow, but you're an artist in your own right. So they say, so they say. It has been quite crazy because this puppet has become so famous uh, amongst people who are politically aware or who are, or follow the news. So for people, he actually exists. Like, uh, you know, a lot of politicians, Gwede Mantasha calls me Chester. Uh, and it happens loads. ANC people, DA people call it. So it's weird for gear because we've got this entity that's separate from us but is so well known. And so much a part of our daily lives, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, it seems you've come to accept Chester in your life. I've come to accept Chester. However, I don't know if he accepts me. So what I'd like is for him to, for Conrad to work with these other puppets, Ronnie and Hillary, as much. They're not, they're not as political, so some people enjoy it when you just play about ordinary things. Ronnie's this crazy little kid, monster dude. And the other puppet, Hillary, okay, we, we argue a bit because we like using the same songs for shows. La 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 la, la la la, la la la, now you do it. I'm not going to sing, they want you to sing, you will laugh at every word, laugh at you. Come on, I'm not going to, okay, here goes. La la, <coughs> call the locksmith. Why do you want a locksmith? You're off key. Bottom line is there are other puppets that need attention, including myself. Not yes. being a puppet though, but needing attention. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that maybe you could help Chester out and get him a girlfriend or something. A girlfriend? I'm seeing a movie with Chester later. We could go get... What, 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 you seeing a movie with Chester? Yeah, I know, that's We never weird. get to see a movie, you guys, with sorry. Chester. Yeah, well, you know, he's oh, come on. so well known, oh. I want to hang out with him. I'm sorry. I... Since there's no dating service they could sign Chester up for, they hoped inspiration would strike, and it did. 
Wait, 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 hang on a second. Wait no further. Perfect. What's this? Not what's this? Who is this? This is a duck. Don't you know duck McStuffins? I've never seen this in my life before. Don't you? It's got a very big head. I always get for you. Oh, the duck is going to make you feel better. Tell me what you think because you guys have a very intimate relationship. A good and bad, I would imagine. Well, what's good is that we get to talk about South African society. Uh, we've got a good way of debating stuff. He has his opinions, I have mine. I think that it puts all the opinions on the table. Uh, people seem to laugh at us. Uh, they laugh at me a lot because he makes a lot of jokes about me. But, um, you know, that's fun. They think it's me making him talk, but he seems to have a life of his own. The difficult part is it's very difficult to control this guy's ego. It's really taken off. And he's struggling, man. You know what it's like when someone puts words in your mouth. I mean, listen, let's face it. He is a puppet, right? Puppet? Who are you calling a puppet? Uh, um, uh, Chester, we were just thinking how great it would be if, if, um, if you had a girlfriend. A girlfriend? Yeah. Nico, I thought you were my friend. I'm ashamed of you. And Conrad, you disgust me. Chester, I didn't. How dare you? I know you should know that. You use the word, the P word, puppet. Why can't we say puppet? You have to say previously disadvantaged mannequin. I'm sorry, Nico. This is. We were. I. This is. She's actually very cute. So I just. I thought you'd like her. And she's a toy. I, I mean, do you want to go on a date with a toy? I, I don't. Maybe I you do. I am not a toy. I am the Mustafa. Yo, he's actually <laughs> better at that than you are. You're gonna get a job on Takalani Sesame guy. I just guy. spoke to a puppet. Okay. Daddy. Okay. Scrap the girlfriend it's idea. Clothing, bro. Can we it's buy you some clothes? We just want to extend you know your wardrobe. You're the one wardrobe. wearing a Mike's kitchen tablecloth. This is good. Come, let's just take him. Sorry, bro. Come. The most challenging part of Conrad's work is constantly coming up with new material in a relatively small South African television and live performance market where everyone sees your new work quite quickly. His ability to generate fresh material has earned him an Emmy nomination and him and Chester a deserved night out. Right, so here we are. Now the only thing we have to do is decide what film to watch. What kind of movie do you like to watch? You normally watch just political movies. Yeah, well, let's stay away from the political stuff just for just for a change. But yeah, let me ask I'm you something. I'm always working. That's what it's Listen, like. You always work. You guys have worked on a variety of platforms together, on stage, on television. Chester, you've written a book. What's next? We've got Mass Hysteria. We've got Mass Hysteria. Uh, it's a big comedy showcase with... Um, a whole really awesome lineup that's going to be in Cape Town at Artscape from the 10th to the 13th of September. We've got a comic showcase for the award winners of the Comics Choice Awards, which is great. Are you going to be there? You know, this really needs to stop. You need to go get your own gigs. Let's go watch it, man. Uh, exciting. Yeah, this are we way. Gonna get, yeah. Are we going to get jelly tots? What are we going to get?